You better not cross his path. Kevin Spencer. Chain smoking alcoholic, sociopath. sociopath. Kevin was nine years old and had started his summer holidays two weeks before the other kids in the neighborhood because he went to a special school for problem children and because he decided to play hooky and threatened to off his teacher if he squealed on him. <laughs> Kevin liked to stand around on the street corner and watch the other kids go to their school. He especially liked to watch Jimmy Thompson, whose parents were rich and had just bought him a brand new mountain bike. Kevin had a real Jones on for that bike. He decided he wanted one just like it. That night at dinner, he asked his dad if he could have $200 for a new bike. His dad laughed and said if he had that kind of scratch, he wouldn't have sold Kevin's old bike for smokes and lottery tickets. Kevin's mom laughed so hard that her Ryan coat came out her nose. Kevin decided to go outside for a smoke really started to get under Kevin's skin that Jimmy had a new bike and he didn't. <laughs> Kevin decided to go to Jimmy Thompson's house to straighten things out. Jimmy and his parents were sitting on the front porch drinking lemonade. The bike was in the driveway, propped up on its kickstand. Kevin sighed. There was no way he could swipe it without being seen. So instead of taking the bike, Kevin snuck around to the back of the house, jimmied the latch in the door, and stole a bunch of silverware and jewelry. The next day, he sold the stuff at a pawn shop for $250. He spent $200 on a new bike and kept the rest for walking around money. That night at the dinner table, when his dad asked him where he got the money for a new bike, Kevin tossed him a 20 and said, you didn't see nothing. Years later, the psychiatrist that worked at the maximum security prison where Kevin was serving his life sentence said that was one of the pivotal moments where a lack of a proper father figure in his life led to Kevin becoming an untreatable sociopath.